Welcome to Comic Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shaw. I got with me Ian, and we're gonna we're gonna taste some whistle pig. Yeah, this is some fifteen oaked whistle pig, right? Yeah, I got I got a story here. There's other crap I'm here. I'm guessing like, this is not a cheap whistle pig because no. the old world was about a hundred something bucks. That's two hundred dollars. Wow. Not that size. Oh, okay. But like, I'm like holy like, shit. No, like Better a, not drop this. Like a large bottle, like seven hundred fifty milliliters. Okay. Would be a. Uh, Two hundred and one hundred ninety-nine dollars. So you can do your rounding however you choose, but I'm gonna say two hundred. Uh, but I like the way they they. And how many milliliters is this? I should know that. Probably fifty. So. Is it? I don't know. It's about fifteen divided by. How many dollars worth yeah. of liquid? Yeah. I don't know. They didn't send me a big bottle though. What's the big guys? Come on. Uh, it says <laughs> within this bottle is a culmination of years of patience. A liquid chosen from the finest stock to the age. To be aged for more than a decade, only disturbed as it was transferred from specifically selected former bourbon casks mm. to barrels made of slow-growing Vermont oak harvested on the Whistle Pig Farm. That damn oak grows so slow in Vermont. I know! It's like glaciers get in the way and everything because yeah, know, right? it takes them so long to grow. It's so cold up in Vermont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We say from sweltering 90-something degrees in New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah, right over the border to... Right over the border, yeah. To the west of us where it's cold. No, because it takes so long that the glaciers will come through we'll have another ice age. Come on. So do you ever, it doesn't say how many milliliters in there, huh? No, I'm guessing it's probably... That's got to be more than an ounce, though. Yeah, that's probably... Because like this is almost an ounce, if not... Right? Yeah. 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 These things Sorry. are usually about 50, it's right? smelly. Aromatic. Yeah, it is. Isn't it's oaky. Nope. Nope. This is oak. I can keep looking, though. No. Ooh! <laughs> It's on there somewhere, Ian. You God damn it, it. It, it is. It's a sticker. It's probably made just for samplers. So they I'm don't stuffy care. and I smell that. Yeah. Well, you're always sick. <coughs> Stop <coughs> being sick. It's I'm, summer. I'm allergic to my own cats. Oh, that, that, well, uh, yeah. So you're not sick. You're just, you just have yeah. allergies. Yeah, no, I'm not sick right now. My yes. phone is pretty yeah. sick. <laughs> it's my sick phone. That is a sick phone. That, Shattered. it's a phone that puked out of your pocket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Literally. Pop right out and out of the ground. Should we put some water in this or try it first and then put some little water? Want to try it first? Sure. Just testing my water. Is that a one. cask strength? No. 46%, 92 proof. It's a little hot. It's hot. <coughs> 92 proof is 46, 46. It's yeah, hot. I, I mean, it's, it's spicier. I mean, it's going to be Did hotter. Say that? I said it anyway. So. No, but no, I mean, 46 is greater than 40. That's why I'm at. Yes. And 40 is, can be, even, we've had things that have been super, like, uh, I gave it away, I think, the MIG, MIG fuel. Oh, yeah. That's really hot, but it wasn't really that alcohol. But that was alcohol 90 proof. Lake. Right. But then we've had things that have been, like, really smooth. high proof that have been smooth and, like, crazy. Yeah. Well, the Rumsons itself is kind of smooth for a 40 proof. Yes, you're right, right. And then they have, yeah, don't they have one that's a little higher? Maybe not. The Rumsons? Yeah. Woo. It is still strong. No, the, everything's 40. Oh. Everything. Still strong. It's really potent. I mean, you get a lot of burn in there. Mm. Woo Good flavor, though. I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely got like a white oak flavor to it, though. Like, um, it's... It's better with the water. A little bit of water. Yeah, but it's, it's just, it's a straight, so it's a straight rye that has, <laughs> it's a rye that has bourbon tendencies to me. Yeah, like it has. It doesn't have as the crazy. Uh, not as much as say like a, the the uh, what do I have the the Knob Creek one twenty, but it's like it's not as much barrel as that. But there's barrel going on it's, here, it's, it's more got than that muskiness. Rye, yeah, I was gonna say there's a little bit of the rye muskiness, but not as much as the barrel. No, there's there's much more um, H and O flavor. Yeah, so this for is like awful dangerous Manhattan. Like a potent Manhattan. Mm. Probably a good Manhattan because you're going to drink it a little bit more slow. And those are potent to start with because they're mostly booze. So. I don't... I, I, I like... I like the, the alcohols that cut through like this a little bit more because I don't... I'm not a big straight drinker. So, like, mm. this might be ex ex explosive on the on the palate. But I don't drink a lot of whiskey straight. Now, people who go, I like the man's whiskey that makes my chest hairs grow. And Already it's got to be idea. strong. And, yeah. <laughs> and, every, and, and the funny thing is people... That that you know historically from movies and That's stuff like now. that in Western, <laughs> it's it's Jack Daniels, right? And everybody's like, oh, Jack Daniels, hardcore. This oh, puts Jack Daniels to shame for like the, from the intensity level. For that, oh yeah. 
right? Yeah, so no, it's really potent. It brings out, you know, and it's a rye, and it's bringing out all those flavors. It's got that yeah. that neat rye thing, which you don't see too much. You, it's growing. You see more rye now you do, than you yeah. did. I think people are becoming more aware. Uh, yeah. Whiskey's got its... But even it's six years been ago. ...having its resurgence. So, I mean, rye becomes more in the public eye because right. of the resurgence. So people understand the difference. is local. It's local to us and it doesn't hurt. But, yeah. like, rye six years ago, there was, I think, one at the store. Like, in the New Hampshire liquor store. Now... I wonder what it was. It was rye one. Oh, okay. Wonder <laughs> uh, <laughs> no more. Which I, I, I th might I'll be too wondering. Being, it's <laughs> probably around. I might still have it around. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. That's the same bottle too. Yeah. Um, now there's all you can pull up a whole selection of them, which is good for us. Probably bad totally. for these guys. That's probably Jim Beamer. Or I can't remember who Curtis right. said it was. But now um, you got. I mean, got a Jim Beam has its own rye. Right. And, like all these guys. Now, have their own. okay. So so given that you have that strength, where do you like? Do you would you pay two hundred dollars for this? I have a hard time paying two hundred dollars for anything. Two hundred dollars for anything, unless it's uh, a new screen for your iPhone. Well, that, that would be your. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'd pay 200 bucks for. I, not, yeah. Not a lot now. Thanks, Uncle Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had the you money. You would pay $200 in multiple stages for anything you're collecting at the yeah. time. Yes. <laughs> I'll pay 200 bucks for a shipment of comics if it's like a month's worth of comics. Yeah. Yeah. That's, this, yeah, it's Hold priorities. On. But, like, the reason I say that is because. Oh, yeah, to I got me, delivery coming today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's looking around for a spot. I, I don't know what to do. Once I have it, I'm going to know. Uh, this has that, like, that the. It has a. I don't know. There's a lot of oak in here. It's very smooth and it's. It just showed up. At your house. Amazon to come, delivery. Oh, yeah, because yeah. they come on Sundays because they get paid extra. Yeah. Um, USPS, that is. This has it has a nice explosive flavor. It's round. It's creamy. It's oaky. It's it's everything I like in a bourbon in a rye. Hmm. But I personally would not spend two hundred dollars for this. It for me, uh, and, and you know their command of the two hundred dollars is based on it being a fifteen year old product. It takes time. It's got to sit in a in a warehouse in barrels that could have been used to produce money doing other things. Right. right? So I, I get the cost. But for me. It, I would rather buy for two hundred dollars. I could buy uh, four bottles of like Naughty Creek one hundred and twenty. Yeah. I, but I wouldn't. I would buy four fifty dollars bottles of other uh, like different brands well, and this, then rotate. Them this around. is the kind of product that fits in if you're a collector. As a collector, yeah, this is more of a collect. Yeah, <laughs> you, this is your diet. If, if you have a collection of, of bottles that you're yeah. you're looking to get. This would be a good addition to a collection of rye right. or whatever. But I'd want to drink or it. Or if you're that's really the problem. in. To, like if you sit down every night with like two fingers. Yeah, if you're full invested of, you know, in, in, whiskey, in whiskeys and rice. Right, whatever, you know, and yeah. Yeah. it could be that type of thing. But yeah. there's so much there's so much oak in here that um I don't know, when I look at like uh, what's the blue label there? Uh, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker Blue, also aged, has a lot of oak in it. And like I could get oak from other things. I just feel like sometimes you're paying for the age but it's not always the most impressive. Yeah, a little mouse that just jumped in a tree. You see him over there? He, see him? Seriously? What? Yeah, what is that? Is that a mouse? That is a chipmunk. That's a chipmunk. He just kind of walked over, he jumped up, grabbed the branch, he hung there for a minute, and then he let go and he went on his way. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was kind of cool. I don't know. I have never... Squirrel? He looks like a, you, you look like Kevin. You were just like... <laughs> and then I, I was like, well, where is he going? Like, he's just, so he's Kevin the MC or Kevin the dog? Kevin yeah. the dog. Okay. Uh, this... But again, I, you know what? <laughs> Drink the rest of that. It's not as strong as it was the first few sips because well, we didn't have any. Alcohol. The water definitely helped. No, I know. But like, you do get used to it. Yeah. You get used to it a little bit. Um, but like I said, I, I agree. This is more for the collector that's trying to, to collect the whole set of great product that they're going to maybe never open. Right. Which is a travesty. Hey, don't get me wrong. When I say it's a collector edition, I don't mean it's not tasty. It's no, no, it's tasty and it's delicious. But the price point just makes it's it. It's just for not me, it my makes it a collector target item. demographic. I yeah. think, um, and I know talking to people in the spirit industry, especially people who sell, uh, there's you can name at least 20, 20 different bottles of high end, expensive. I can't because I can't remember all the names, That's but whiskeys that go for <laughs> anything from two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars oh, yeah. or more that are super rare. That uh, when I talk to the people that either retail them or, or, or make them, rare, they yeah. can't keep them in stock. Like, yeah. they're gone. Well, because people collect shit. Right. And, and, you, and so if you want to taste it, that $200, at some level, I feel like that $200 is there because they, they know the collector is going to buy it out. Right. Which means the average person might not always get to experience the flavors because they yeah. can't. 
they don't want to pay for a collector's pricing. But if they have but they're going to get it, no problem. I mean, if they're going to do this with their high-end stuff, like their expensive stuff, that's great for you and me because that right. means we get to try this for 10 bucks or whatever. Right. I don't know what that comes out to be. But. Probably not. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that ends up coming. But it also means that, yeah. that the price of this is no doubt going into building more product, more experimental product, and other things that the average consumer is going to get. So in some ways, this is kind of like Tesla, right? You could buy a $120,000 car, which is probably not necessarily really worth it, and the company's really not making that much off of it, but they're using it to reinvest, and then they can make yeah. a cheaper car. So these guys could do very much the same. Use that sure, money to yeah. be able to build brand awareness, build more product, and get and stuff out for the average person. Their base brand is pretty good to start with. Right. So, I mean, if they have a good following, this makes a lot of sense for uh, Whistle Pig fans. Don't get me wrong. I would, if you guys want to send me a full big bottle, that's great. I'm, yeah. I'm fine with that. You know, if, I, if I were wealthier and, oh, yeah. you know, if I had a wealth. certain government entity didn't have a cut of my paycheck, <laughs> anymore, then I would probably yeah. put it, this on my shelf. It, in in <laughs> having given in product in the past, I could tell you we'll never open it. <laughs> well, Have you opened your Havana Club yet? No, because I can't get that normally. So it's like, if I can get it, I'll open it. But that's a limited edition. So I would not. You open cannot it. be able to get that normally. <laughs> no, I probably would not open it. It would sit on his kitchen counter, all yeah. pretty. So, I, see, I can get Jameson Caskmates. I can get Jameson, uh, what's, what's the latest one? The Sherry Double. One. Yeah. Uh, oh, Black Barrel. Yeah. But I keep a bottle of those. That's yeah, like not opening. Sherry Cask, you always have your one, and then if they do dry out and you never get it again, you still have your one that you have your collectors. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You back that up. So you buy one of those and you hold one. And, and people park, do. Park That's a lot why they move. The collectors yeah. buy one and then they have one yeah. to serve to friends, to show that they have one yeah. and they can they can afford it. So the question for me is... I do have to get that James's new stuff, the Sherry stuff, though. Damn it. <laughs> do you guys... Crusted. Crusted. Do you guys ever buy spirits just to collect them? You put them away... Maybe not even open it ever. Just like you yeah. put it away. You got a you couple take a sip bottles, of it. don't you? That you don't... I got an uh, I got a Spice Nine that came in a box. Yeah. And it, so it has. I have a Geneva that has a. Well, see the thing is, my Geneva, Geneva has, has a signature. signature. Gene so it's not master. Cause no, because I have again, I have another one just in case. And then I have my Cruzion Nine um, with one of the original uh, first barreling barrel yep. bottlings or whatever. Right. But for the amount of stuff I have, I don't really have. Maybe three bottles that I might hold forever. Well, most of the stuff that comes in is for review. Anyway. Yeah, it's just <laughs> spit it all out, and I consume that stuff. And but it's I cool. It's cool it. if you're a collector to pull something out like like this or like yeah. something that either is out of production or whatever, either just to show it off or if it's open. I mean, to give yeah. fans a yeah. tasting. Like I would people like to show mine off. Yeah, you always do. Yeah. There you go. Leaked out the way. <laughs> you can't just leak out the way. I just did. <laughs> Leaked it out. Was a bit. Fifteen limited release. Hundred ninety nine dollars for a seven fifty milliliter bottle. Are you buying one? 50, Have you bought one? The fifty comes out to be about thirteen thirty. You figured it out in your head. By the same price and the volume standard, so this might be a fifteen bucks in the in the store just because it's a smaller bottle and they have a bunch of bottles. And all that. But, uh, you probably didn't buy one of those. Still a lot cheaper than two hundred. It is if you want to try it. It's yeah. definitely an option. You can find it. <laughs> all right, we teach you how to drink. It's just like ice sculpturing, but more fun because you get to break stuff. Worst case, if it doesn't come out right or you break one oddly, then just 